Hi guys, John McTaggart here again. Uh, thanks for checking out the next episode on our YouTube channel here. Um, today we're going to talk about a Fuji lens that has quickly become one of my favorites. It's not the newest, brand newest lens, but it's among them and I think it takes its place among the best 50 millimeter equivalents uh, in any brand. Uh, and of course I'm talking about the Fuji a 35 millimeter f2 lens the weather sealed one um, I love what Fuji is doing making this line of f2 it's very similar to what Leica has done in the past or did in the past and it's some of the best lenses ever made Fuji is really working hard to replicate that to give it their best shot this lens is dynamite it's weather sealed of course which on my X Pro one doesn't mean a whole lot um, but if you have an X-T1 X-T2 X Pro 2 uh, it, it, that makes a difference. So what I love most about this lens, quite frankly, is the fact that it is way faster than the 1.4 version of the, at the same focal length, way faster. Um, focusing, it's better low light performer, and it's really very affordable. I think they're three, $400 new. You can get them used for 300, I believe, $100 less, whatever that is, whatever it is. Um, and they're just, the build quality is amazing. It's a very rugged, very, um, very uh, all around great shooter. In fact, I would say if you wanted to buy one Fuji lens, if you're just new to the, to the system, I think this is the one to get. Um, I've tried the 23 F2 and that's a great lens too, an absolute great lens. But 50 is a very versatile uh, focal length. It's been used by, sorry, the dogs are barking. It's been used by um, some of the best photographers of all time on all the different kind of camera systems and platforms. It's supposedly it's close to what your eye would see, um, but I've always found that it's a great lens. Uh, I use it a lot in photojournalism when I know that my subjects are going to be a little bit further away, but I still want that portrait type feel to it. Um, the 18 f2 is my go-to lens for storytelling this is more of a intimate lens and it's just dynamite um, the technical aspects you can find on Fuji's websites and quite honestly I I don't really know to tell you the truth what's the difference what makes the difference between eight element and six element and that and I'm sure that there's a legit reason for these things and it does affect it but in my world I want to know what kind of picture it takes <coughs> and how good of a lens it is durability wise practical more practical things as well as the value that you get and this kind of wraps up all that stuff in one um, it, it's the it's the real deal it's the complete package uh, it's still it's very stealth lens still which makes it ideal for street photography so for you street shooters out there that use a, a Fuji system this is this is a, an excellent choice very good choice you can see it I'll put it on my X Pro 1 here and you can see sort of how low profile um, it is. It's not quite as flat, obviously, as the 27 or the 18, but it's a different, different animal. So here it is, uh, even with the lens hood that comes with it. It's not my favorite lens hood. I like the vented one better, but the vented one actually by Fuji is pretty expensive. Um, the third-party ones are good, but I've actually had trouble with the couple third-party ones I bought <laughs> fitting the lens cap on. Um, and I love to keep my lens cap on because I very, very, very rarely will shoot with a filter. Um, and I probably should, but I just don't. I just, for some reason, putting a piece of $20 glass in front of a, a $400 or $500 lens doesn't make any sense to me. So, <clears throat> anyhow, it's a, it's a pretty low profile. You can still get away with being kind of, kind of stealth with this lens. It's quiet, which is unlike the 1.4 which actually sounded like a small herd of cattle running towards you when you, um, <laughs> when you used it. Anyone that has shot with that lens before will know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of chatter, and that gets kind of old uh, pretty fast. So this is the one to get. If you're going to get any Fuji lens out there for any Fuji body, in my mind, this is the one to start with, and you can kind of branch out from there. Um, couldn't recommend it any higher. It's also a great lens if you're going to pair it with an 18 f2. You'll have a 28 and a 50 equivalent. That is pretty much all you need for street photography or uh, sort of like a photojournalistic style shooting. Um, it's just a great, great all-around lens. Couldn't recommend it anymore. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to post some photos after this video, at the end of this video, that were taken with this 
uh, with this lens, and I hope that you'll agree, it's it's well worth the money and, and a real winner in the in the Fujinon uh, X series lineup. So until next time, the next video, actually next video, we're going to do some film stuff. Um, I'm going to take a look at the Leica M42, uh, and we'll be uh, we'll be back. I'll see you guys then. Thanks. Bye. Please subscribe.